Hi, welcome to the Snap-on EECS 350 Enhanced Battery System Tester. On this unit, as you can see, it's designed to work on 6 volt, 8 volt, 12 volt systems and also allow you to test the starter motor on our 6 volt, 12 volt and 24 volt systems and also carry out an alternator test with its pre-built sort of untested menus. As you can see on here, we connected up to our battery, so obviously black to negative, red to positive. But note that the unit also incorporates polarity protection, so if you do get it wrong on the battery, you will not damage the vehicle battery or damage your battery system tester. On our screens you can notice that at the top, the default is our built-in test for the battery starter and alternator. We've also got a folder which enables us to get into our settings option. There's an illustration icon of our sort of multimeter, which allows us to do more voltage checks. And also, if you wish to test the battery off the vehicle, then we've actually got the battery symbol there to actually test those systems. So let's go in and see how our enhanced battery system tester performs on this vehicle. So as you can see, with our navigation controls, we can go up, down, left, right, and the middle is our enter button. So we're highlighting our first test mode, so we go and press our enter. And you notice we've got the home icon that's highlighted, which allows us to get back to the front screen, or we can select our passenger car or our motorbike options available to us, or our ledger vehicles. We're gonna go on to the car, and then you notice we've got our battery test. Six volt, eight volt, 12 volt, and 24 volt, which is not a 24 volt battery, but it's actually the 24 volt starting system on our commercials. So on here you can see we go up and down on our arrows but we're highlighting the 12 volts that we need for this car. We press our middle to accept and now you notice that this enhanced battery system tester tests all types of vehicle batteries that we commonly see at the moment. Our regular lead acid batteries, our EFB start stop batteries, our AGM start stop batteries, AGM spiral and our leisure gel batteries. The only battery that you can't test currently at the moment is the lithium ones, we've only just come out and as you said, we'll have something for that in the future. So we're gonna select our regular. Now you notice we've got all our different ratings, CCA, CA, JIS, which is Japanese Industrial Standard. So Japanese batteries have their own codings, we can use that, EN, DIN, SAE. So we're going to go with CCA because when we look at our vehicle battery, look at our vehicle battery, you can notice we've got our standard CCA values, both in EN standard and SAE as well. So we're going to go with the CCA value. Press our enter for that. It's we notice that our battery was 438 CCA. 440 is the closest to it. Again, if if we needed to adjust it, up and down arrows will enable us to do that. Once we've got our rating, we press our enter button. The tester automatically tests our battery for us and gives us our results. As you can see, it says good battery, but it recommends a recharge as it's a bit low. Again, if you miss the screen, it comes back. And as you notice, we've got like a gauge display showing us that we're in near the middle of that display. So that we've got what's called a good battery, but we do recommend charging it for us. You then notice that we want to go on to the starter test. So it says press the, the middle button to go on to starter. So we go to starter and it then advises us to start the engine. And as you notice, even if we weren't by the vehicle when we cranked, it actually tells us what our actual values were. So built onto the screen, it tells us what our cranking voltage was and it also told us how long it took to actually start the car. So it's a good values so that you know that your battery can cope with the cranking and also your starter motor is good. Now we can see that we want to go on to the next test which is actually testing our alternator. Okay now we're ready to do our charging test. So as we can see on the unit sort of, you know, basically we press our middle button to go into charging. It's now checking out our charging output and now it wants us to rev the engine with the loads off. It checks that the engine is revved up and then basically set, wants us to idle the engine and then we press our middle button again. It's then testing the alternator idle with the loads off and there it's requesting that we turn the high beams on on the lights and the blower motor on and have the engine idling. 
And once we put those loads on, we then press the middle enter button again. It's our testing the alternator while the loads are on. And then it wants us to rev the engine up again, still keeping the load on. And then it wants us to then sort of, hello, um, put the engine back to idle. Press the middle button again, then turn off all the loads and the engine as well. So this test has been done automatically with simple instructions on the screen. We press the middle button again and it now gives us our results. So basically it tells us on the results that sort of I know and we've got the option for printing as it flicks to the screen that we're under our no load voltage and also loaded voltage and also indicates the alternator ripple to tell us that we're charging with the actual result that there was no problems with the charging system. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the Snap-on EECS350 enhanced battery system tester and sort of uh, we'll be covering other products in the future. Thank you.